Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. We want to take a minute and give you a quick reminder. Those of you guys that like the custom lineman belts or that want my custom lineman belt, I'm going to replay the video that I did before. I'm going to start it here in one second. But if you want one, now is the time to buy the components, especially the Rope Man number one ascender unit. Reason I say that is every fall they sell out. It's been that way. I've been uh, doing videos on this thing for the last seven years. Um, it goes all the way back to seven years ago. And every single fall, all of you guys pile in and start watching these videos and then you try to start buying the components and you're emailing me or calling me or texting me telling me that they're not available. I can't find a rope man number one. I can't find a rope man number one anywhere. They sell out every fall because of people like you that want to make these. So now is the time to do it. The video is going to play in a minute. It'll show you the full details of that, how to make it, what you need, all the details. The links will be there for you. Everything is down below for you in the description, but buy it now. Because if you try to buy it in October or you try and buy it in November, odds are very good. Just like every single year, you will not be able to find one. And then you're going to be yelling at me for it. So that's why I made this video. Check it out. The video is coming up right now. Down below is the link for all the parts to this. It's the best lineman belt you could ever use. But get it now because, again, in fall, they will be sold out. Happens every year without fail. So jump on it while you can. Thanks for watching. Here's the video. Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Kovac. Today we're going to talk about the best lineman belt you could ever use. If you're a tree stand hunter and you're going up and down trees, uh, I don't care if you use lifelines or not or anything like that, a lineman belt is essential. If you are going to hang a stand in a tree, you need a lineman belt. Why? Because your lifeline that you put up there and that you think you can hook onto and climb up and down with uh, and your Prusik knot that you slide up and down, that's only going to protect you when you're hunting from that once that stand is up and you're climbing in and out but to hang the stand or if you're a mobile hunter like me who hangs stands every time i go up and down in order to successfully get that stand up in that tree and be safe doing it you need a lineman belt this is the only way to do it once you're up there and you hang your lifeline if you want that's a different story but you need a lineman belt in order to successfully and safely hang a stand the right way plus there's other benefits because it gives you your hands free to be able to hang your sticks and your stands and things like that a lot of life line, or, uh, uh, lineman belts out there, most of them are made with a Prusik knot. A Prusik knot is okay. The way I do it is a lot better. I've been using this system for over 15 years. Uh, it works incredible. There is literally, there, there's, there's tens of thousands of you guys that are using the same system that I do now. And I've done quite a few videos on it. Every video I do, I get a lot of questions about how the, where to get the components, how to build this, what to do with it. This video, I'm going to explain it all to you, put it all into one video so it's all right there and easy for you. And I will give you links below, down in the bottom in the description, where you can buy all these parts for it real sweet and easy. I am an affiliate with Amazon, so um, I, I do get a little bit of a commission from these purchases, but it will be a link right there to show you everything uh, and all the stuff you need all in one spot, shopping, sweet, simple, and easy, and sent right to you. So... Um, but this lineman belt, what we have here, it is ultra light. This one here is actually, I got mine on, which I will show you. This is one that I just built for Steve Trey and Northern Miss Longbows. I just made one for him. So I'm going to use that to show because it's all fresh and new and not used yet. Uh, but you can see how little compact and lightweight that is. But the functionality of this thing is incredible. Uh, what we have is you have the main component of this is this ascender unit, which I'll bring in and show you. But what's nice about this is to see how it rolls right across that rope real easy. You can do that one-handed from the tree. What about going backwards and getting more slack? You can take your finger and just press that up and you can roll that way. So you have total flexibility to go up or down, giving yourself more or less slack whenever you want to. That is the beauty of the system, but it locks. It's not going anywhere. It will not, it's mountain grade climbing quality kind of stuff. So it's not going any place. Um, you know, so it works like a champ. It's a great system. I've been using it forever. It works incredible. Um, and then I do just a simple overhand knot. You can, some people argue, say there's better knots. Uh, you know what? I mean, I, I do what I'm doing with it. You do what you want with it. I'm not taking any responsibility for what knots you use or what you set up or how you do it. I'm just telling you what works good for me. If you want to put a different knot in here than an overhand knot, go ahead. For me, it works fine. All I needed to do is stop this when I'm letting it out so that I don't take too much slack out so I don't just slide off there not thinking that knot does that for me anything else on there this will stop it will not move so I am quite content with the way I set it up if you want to do a figure eight or something different choice is yours component wise what we have here you will see 
we have just a simple carabiner on this tag end that's here you can put whatever you want to put on here it does not make any difference you can use any carabiner wire one whatever I like these ones that do not have the notch hook in them that way this thing will very simply uh, go on to my D rings on my harness and stuff for your fabric ones they will not snag there's no snag to them so this one here I'll, I'll put links to this stuff in, in good carabiners and things the key thing with the carabiner though is on your ascender end that's this end right here where you have this rope man number one ascender wild country rope man number one ascender is what you have on there and it is important that you get the number one because it has these teeth on there like this the number two have got very pointed uh, teeth on there and they'll still over time wear on your rope so I like the rope man number one is my favorite one uh, but the carabiner that you put on there you want it to be a round shank carabiner that way this sits in there the correct way if you use one of these which has got like a a, more of a rectangular oval kind of shape what will happen is this carabiner will always lay flat like that it's not a big deal and you can still use it but you always have to bend it back up to connect it because it wants to keep going flat because it's not round with a round carabiner on there this problem is solved and that stays wherever you want it because it is a round shank so round shank carabiner is what you want to use uh, and then the rope man number one is sender very simple system it pops on pops off very easy all you do to put it on and off there carabiner comes out this thing splits it splits open so you can take this and pop it right open and pop it right off the rope that is the I'll see if you guys will focus that close there but that there is the rope man number one ascender unit right there which again I'll have links to all this stuff all you do is split it open put it on the rope just like that once you have it on a rope, you just pull back on it to give it a little bit of slack so you can get in there. And then you put your carabiner on there. And then you can leave it like this all the time. So you just leave it on there constantly like that. It will go one direction. It will not go the other direction until you pull on that lever and then let it. And then you can then get your slack. I'm going to show you how this works. Um, the rope man ascender. This unit right here, you are basically looking at, this is good for anything from 10 to 13 millimeter rope will fit in here. I recommend mountain grade climbing rope. I will again have links there for you. Mountain grade climbing carabiners. These are aluminum, not steel. It makes the whole thing very nice, lightweight and simple. You will notice that I did do some lashing on the end of that down there too, just because I, I wanted to. That way, number one, I don't think it really makes it, I've never had a knot come on tied or give me a hard time, but I like that because then I don't snag on that piece that's sticking out. I would leave it long enough and that way it doesn't snag on my clothes. So I put that just simple uh, archery string serving lashing and I just wrap it around there to lock that in uh, and keep it tight. But whatever works for you, sweet, simple, awesome setup. I'm gonna show you how it goes, uh, how it works on a tree now and the benefits of it. So with mine, another version, same thing. Been using this one for over three years now. Same thing. Got the rope man unit right there, rope man number one. I got another round shank carabiner on there right there. And I got another carabiner on here. Both of them are smooth. They don't have that uh, notch in there. That's the important part for me. Uh, I really like this carabiner because it is a little bit smaller in statue. It's a little more expensive um, compared to the other ones, but I do like it. I will. That's what I'll put a link to. If you don't like this one, there's plenty other ones on Amazon that you can find that are, are going to probably be a little less money, but this is my favorite one uh, setup that I run. I, I really like it. Now, as far as how it works, I like to run it, I'm left-handed, so I keep it ran on this side. This stays on my side here all the time. This one here, I hook it right here when I'm not using it, wrap around me, whatever I want to do, but that hangs right on that side all the time. When I'm ready to go, I take this side off right here, and when I get to the tree, once I hang that stick on, you can see with this rope, mountain climbing rope is nice because it's kind of got a little stiffness to it. It works really good, but I can then flip this right around the tree grab it and then I can hook this side right onto this carabiner right there now I am attached to that tree pay no attention to how loose my harness is it's set up for me still from wearing more bulky hunting clothes so it, I'm, and I'm not adjusting everything right now but you see how that lineman belt works and keeps me there so now as I'm, I climb up and I'm on my first stick as I go up the tree I want to be able to have more slack if I'm right here like this and I'm working on it this keeps me good and safe and I'm comfortable but while I get this set I got it both my hands are free so I can put the stick on throw the strap around hold the stick put it on tighten it up position it but both my hands are completely free even when I'm all the way up there my hands are free because I am locked in and not going anywhere but then when I want to climb up onto that stick I'm too close to the tree 
With a Prusik knot, that requires you to take two hands and fight with that adjustability because of the way the knots are designed. With this rope man ascender unit, all I do is put my hand right underneath this, watch, and then I go out. I want to go in, I pull in. So I have that free one hand. I can be holding my stick and give myself as much slack as I want anyway and stop anywhere along the process that I want to stop at. I have total control of it just by hitting that lever. Makes a big difference. So when I'm right here and I come up, I put my stick on, I throw it around, I lock my stick on. Now when I'm getting ready to climb, again, I'm too, to too close. I can just very simply give myself a little slack, throw that rope up here like that, climb up my next stick. Once I get up on the next stick where I want, take it, snug myself right in, hang that stick, get it done. When I'm at the top of the tree and I want to hang my stand, I can simply be locked in like this, pull my stand off my back. If I'm a little too tight right here, again, real easy, give myself a little room. Now I can lean out a little bit. I can throw that around, set the stand, put it on, lock it into position. I have the, create, the, the flexibility to move myself in or out wherever I want very simply. By having that freedom, by not having to use my hands to hold onto the tree and do this while I'm trying to swing branches and hang things and risking falling out of that tree, this right here saves the day. It gives me all the freedom to be able to move at my pace without working up a sweat, without being exhausted. I can work much faster. Both hands are free. I am completely safe. Um, yes, you will scuff your face. If you fall off a step and you're sitting here like this and you're locked in and you fall, it's going to suck you right in. It's going to give you a bruise on your belly. You're probably going to scratch your chin up a little bit, but you are going to be alive and safe. Okay, so it gives you that freedom of safety that, or that freedom of control and it gives you that safety factor. With this, I am connected from the second I leave the ground all the way up into my stand and while I'm hunting and what I do when I'm up there, like if I have my tree stand, I should have brought a stand out to show you, but I wanted it about the lineman belt. But if I have my stand set here and I can't get my lineman belt past it, I will take the safety line that I have on the back of my shoulders. I'll take that, pop that open real quick like this, take it, give it a little slack right on there, and I will go above my stand throw it around, which again is real easy to do because I'm locked into the tree here, so I got both hands free, and I will set this on there, put it on there as a safety line, disconnect this one, climb up into my tree, and I have that safety line on there in case something goes wrong. Once I get above my stand, this one comes back on if I want to while I'm climbing in, but it gives me that option to get around branches and do things by having that other line right on there. You don't like the extra slack in here, just take and put an overhand knot right in it just like that shorten right up or use your belt or whatever setup you got uh, this is a whole different system I know but again keep in mind I, I kind of have to I had to make some modifications to certain things I'm, I'm hunting mobile every single time I go up and down a tree every sit and I hunt a whole bunch of states and a whole bunch of places and that simple little strap that you put through here that little belt that holds it right here against the tree that I can't work with I need flexibility. So uh, you get, like I said, this one here allows me when I'm up in that tree to get, if I want that up there right there, I can take that and I can put that slack in. And now I have that same functionality right here because I put that knot in, same length, high quality dynamic rope. We'll get into that another time. But Lyman belt wise, as you see, it gives you all of the control and freedom that you need to be able to, to work efficiently to have both hands free, to not work up a sweat, to not get um, you know, yourself in a tricky situation where you're gonna fall and get hurt or paralyzed or killed or whatever could happen. This is going to keep you safe from the second you leave the ground all the way until you get back down to the ground and it gives you all the freedom you're looking for. So alignment belt, vitally important. It is mandatory that you have one of these if you are hanging tree stands. This one, by far the best system I've ever come up with. Uh, and like I said, I look for better all the time. I test different things all the time. Man, in over 15 years, nothing has beat. The lightweight, compact simplicity and the absolute build quality, durability, and safety factor that you get with a rope man number one ascender and uh, carabiners like this. Locking carabiners, if you want them. This one here, you'll notice, does not have a lock on it, okay? It's just a standard carabiner. This one, standard carabiner too, but it does have a twist gate. Give that With that, you just give it a quick turn and it is now locked. It will not open on you. Give a quick turn with your thumb, just spin it. Whoop. There we go, and just give it a quick turn and now it does open. So a quick turn up, quick turn down, and you can have it where it locks. Is that important? 
it may or may not be since I usually leave this side of mine on all the time I don't take this off till I get in a stand I like having that locking one on there because once I put it on I take it put it on right here hook it on I, with my finger I just give that a quick twist now it is whoop give it a twist and it's locked so now that's not coming undone I don't got to worry about it only one I have to pay conscious effort is to is this one here which is also the one I'm connecting and disconnecting as I go around branches that are sticking out and things like that. So, but this is that Lyman belt that, like I said, many of you guys are using, many of you guys are asking about, even in the videos that I've done before, which I'm probably just gonna delete a couple of them because even on there, people keep saying, oh, go with the Rope Man 2, go with, you can get to still find a Rope Man 3, it uses smaller diameter. Rope Man number one is the one you want. That is the one that has got the right tooth design. That one has got the right setup you're looking for. This is the exact setup you want if you want it to be the best lineman belt you could ever use. Hands down, period, no other two ways about it. Um, that's that's my opinion from somebody who spends a tremendous amount of time hanging stands up and down. So, uh, and I'm using this rope you're seeing on here is 11 millimeter climbing rope, okay? It doesn't matter which ones. Uh, I will put a link to climbing rope in there as well too. Uh, you can buy it by the foot. You can also buy it in 30 foot sections. You can buy it in a bunch of things. Sometimes it may be a couple bucks cheaper to buy it by the foot. Uh, but other times, uh, some of the places you might find a better deal if you're just buying like a 30 foot quantity. It might only be literally a couple dollars more than buying 10 feet of it which I will recommend you're gonna want about nine nine to 10 feet is what you're gonna to need to be able to make your knots, stuff like that, and handle most trees. I think mine end up being about nine foot of rope that I start with when I make them, and, uh, and then I just cut and do the ends and stuff. But about nine feet is what you're looking for that you're gonna need. So if you're buying 10 feet of it, like I said, sometimes you might find a better deal if you just go ahead and, and buy a, a 30 foot piece of it. A lot of times too, when you buy them like that, they will already come with a uh, loop in it. On one end or both ends, they'll come with a loop in it. So then when you cut your other end, you just put that knot in there, but they'll already have a actually pre-sewn and tethered and locked loop right in one end of it, which makes it nice too. So uh, again, that stuff will be down below for you as far as links for that, but you can go, you can order all the components for it, build it yourself, make it. It is by far the best Lyman belt setup that I've I've ever ever used, ever came up with. It's It's, a Prusik knot can't hold a candle to this. This is the speed and ease of this is just priceless. And then on top of that, the fact that you get to, you know, have both arms free and you don't work up a sweat. You're not struggling. You're not hanging off the tree like an acrobat and you're safe from the second you get on, the, from the second you leave the ground with this and with your belt on the back, from the second you leave the ground till the second you come back to the ground, you are 100% safe. And that's important. It lets you get back to your family and it lets you go on with your life and hunt another day. So thanks for watching and I will be back with more stuff soon. We'll talk to you later. All right. Bye.